Good evening and welcome back to Delmarva. Marijuana legalization is facing yet another roadblock from being signed into law. That's according to advocates, this time from an unexpected source. Delaware Cannabis Coalition Director Zoe Patchell tells us medical marijuana license holders are stalling the legislation, asking for specific carve outs for their businesses before being able to move forward. Now, those carve outs include being the only places allowed to sell the adult use cannabis for months and getting a fast track for approval compared to other companies who might want to buy in. Patchell tells us she believes the medicinal industry is asking the state to make them a monopoly or risk tanking the bill. HB2 and the legalization measures don't uh, prevent them from getting into the industry. It just simply requires that they stand in line with every other Delaware resident um, in trying to you know, get a license and compete in this industry. Now, she says giving the license holders what they're asking for would be a problem for both adult use and medical use recipients. The Cannabis Coalition says they've heard from patients that the current five licensed medical use centers already have supply issues and higher prices. The medical program is not working for patients. It's pricing low income patients completely out um, of that program. And now they're going to try to do the same thing with adult use. And if they succeed, then the entire legislation will fail. Now, Patchell says they believe they have the votes to pass the measure in the Senate this coming Tuesday. Her concern, though, is that these arguments could convince Delaware Governor John Carney to veto the bill, which is exactly what he did the last time it was passed. Now, we have since reached out to a medical marijuana vendor who has yet to respond to our request for comment. All right, I'm going to start right with the weekend forecast so you see where we're headed here. We've got more rain moving through. I know a lot of you dealing with it right now. We'll get to the radar picture in a moment. But more showers tomorrow, including a couple thunderstorms. No severe threat, but we're worried about uh, possibly some heavy rain or concerned about that for travel purposes. Still going to be a lot warmer tomorrow. Should be back near that 70 degree mark. And Sunday looks like a winter here. Lots of sun and we'll go with a high of 68. OK, so let's go outside now. Look at that wet scenario out of the Morse roofing and siding sky cam view of Rehoboth Beach. Lots of Sussex County at this point locked in some of the rain and at one point some heavier rain. You can see that has just moved offshore. There's the coastline right there. Ocean view we're looking at there in Rehoboth, Lewis, Long Neck, back to Millsboro. We're just kind of leaving the showers at the moment. Georgetown, you're locked in some of that rain back over to the Maryland side. Herlock up to Denton, down to Mardella Springs, Trap, Cambridge, and then of course over the bridge there. Some more rain coming in. Everything kind of moving west to east at this point. Uh, long and ahead of what was the cold front earlier uh, today is now acting as a warm front as it's starting to make the slow push back north. And that means our temperatures will be a lot warmer tomorrow. We were uh, flipped upside down today. Our high temperature happened just after 1 o'clock in the morning at 70. And our low temperature today happened just about 4 o'clock where we dropped down to 46. And that's where we sit at this point. But it was still a nice day to be outside when it wasn't raining, right? Uh, Christopher White at least got out to take a look at uh, some of the wildlife here out of Dover. I believe that was Silver Lake. And Mark Noble out of Oak Orchard. This is yesterday evening uh, taking a look at the sunset there in the distance. A very nice picture. Thank you for sending those in. Current air temperature running in the mid 40s. We are considerably colder than we were 24 hours ago. Easton 30 degrees colder. Salisbury 26 degrees colder. All that warm air just moved to the south a little bit. It's moving north again as I talked about with the weekend forecast. We'll get back to those temperatures near 70. There's the warm front right there and the showers that it's generating out ahead of it. Look at this off to the west here. A storm system that's dragging in that warm air from the south and really giving that front a nudge. That thing is going to race off to the north and east and eventually bring some of that heavy rain in our direction. So here we go for the rest of the night. Some showers moving through. We'll get a breakthrough tomorrow morning. The clouds are still with us. By 11 a.m., that line of showers and storms crossing over Delmarva. The sun will come out for a bit into the afternoon. Watch what happens into the evening. Some more showers pop back up. I think a couple of these could be thunderstorms too. They'll be widely spaced out, so not everybody gets it, but there will be a couple of those roaming about tomorrow evening. And then Sunday, we get into the nice weather. 41 to 46 tonight. The temperature not changing too much. In fact, it'll slowly start to creep back up as we get closer to sunrise. 65 to 70 tomorrow. A mild day certainly with showers and storms likely. And uh, you're looking at that break in the afternoon tomorrow. We're in your 70 and back to the shower and thunderstorm chance into the evening. And after the weekend, we actually get into a slight cooling trend here into the later part of the week. I'll talk more about that with my final weather here in just a bit. But of course, we have more DSI coming up with Brandon, Devin, and Cole on the other side of the break. Stay with us.